Hey people, it's Patty. I wanted to fulfill a YouTube cliche today by making a what's in my bag video. But of course, the hurdy gurdiest way. I have two hurdy gurdies. My new big one and of course the older one, which is now my backup gurdy. And this also means that I have two toolkits in each of my gig bags. Today I'm going to show you what I carry with me, no matter if I'm in the studio or if I'm going to a gig. I also challenge every other hurdy gurdist in the world to make a video response or maybe a photo of their toolkit using the hashtag what's in my gurdy toolkit. So let's begin. My hurdy gurdies are very similar. They are made by the same luthier, which also means that the toolkits are kind of similar. This is my first toolkit and it's made by my little sister. She sewed it for me and she made those little pockets where I can put stuff in and then I can just tie it together. In the biggest pocket, I always have rosin and cotton. I use liquid rosin and I already made a video about cotton if you're interested in that. You can watch it there. Next thing would be this. It's a screwdriver and I think this one is for the capos. So you can actually adjust the tune of the capos. This brush is a very interesting thing when you're shooting a video. Every instrument kind of collects dust on the surface. So if you have a little brush, you can always quickly clean the surface of your gurdy so it looks good in the video. <laughs> All right, down here is a little piece of chalk. I'm not gonna get it out because then I will have dirty hands. Um, but I guess you all know what chalk looks like. Next thing would be this little pocket. And this also contains a few more screwdrivers for the little tiny parts on the gurdy that need to be adjusted from time to time. This is the most important screwdriver, I'd say. Remember, if you press the keys on the gurdy, they will hit against the string with a little thing that is, I think is called tangents. And you can adjust that little tangent to make the pitch high or low. And this is probably the screwdriver that I wasted most of the time with. Because getting the right pitch on your gurdy is nearly impossible. <laughs> And now the big one. This is for the sympathetic strings. And with this, you can turn the metal hardware to get the right pitch. Okay, this bag is empty. Next bag. This is a super beautiful bag. <laughs> it's gold glitter and it says, I'm a lady. <laughs> I got this sticker because I own a little tiny piece of Scottish land. So now I can officially be called a lady. I think I just stole this bag from one of my sisters. Someone got it as a present and no one wanted it because it's so fucking ugly, so I took it. And guess what? Another screwdriver, <laughs> right? We know this one. Okay, here's something new. So since this is from my new Big Gertie, I have a whole set of melody strings um, in case something breaks in the studio or on stage or something. They are called Corelli New Crystal Forte High for an alto pitch or a viola. That's an interesting piece. This is sandpaper. I need sandpaper for my hurdy-gurdy because in winter or summer the temperatures change and the humidity changes and the wood reacts very fast to those kinds of changes. You will especially see this with the hurdy-gurdy keys because suddenly you will have to press much harder to get it up. I always have some sandpaper with me so I can take the key out and sand down the little bit that is uh, causing the problem and then I can put it back in. So that's very important, especially if you have a new instrument like me. But please be very careful with sanding down the keys of your hurdy-gurdy because you don't want them to be too loose. More cotton! People kept laughing about how I say cotton because I think in the other video I said it like cotton and then everyone said, no Patty, it's not cotton, it's cotton. Someone told me that the American version would be cotton. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. If I say a mixture of everything, you know which word I'm I'm meaning to say. That's a plastic tube and this is the kind of plastic tube that is actually on the tangents, on the little pieces that press against the strings. And I always have a little spare one because sometimes my tangents get stuck underneath other strings and if I cut a longer piece of it and put it on the tangent that is causing the problem, then um, it won't get stuck anymore. And this again is the thing for the sympathetic string. So these ones are the same. Of course, a small one is nicer to have in the back. Liquid rosin again, it's exactly the same one that I have here. I always have a problem with the lids of these because the more you use them, the more they will get stuck on the glass. So I always need to run around and ask people to open my rosin for me. <laughs> Ernie Gernis Bramblins. Guess what? Another screwdriver. 
And now comes the very most awesome piece of my whole collection of toolkits and screwdrivers, which is green gurney cotton! I got this as a present the other day in the mail from my friend Scott Marshall from England. He got it with some other gurney and he saw it and he said it was meant to be for me, so he sent it to me. That's a very sweet gift, thank you very much. I haven't tried it out yet, I will, and um, yeah. I will be even more nerdy now with my green gurdy cotton. Oh God. Okay, people, that's it. That's what's in my bag. I am very eager to see your video or photo responses using the hashtag what's in my gurdy toolkit. All right, people, have a good week. Bye bye. This video is sponsored by my patrons on patreon.com slash Thanks a lot for your love and support.